Hey, what's up everybody? Installing a trailer hitch on your Ford Mach-E can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, and even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to get this install started, we're gonna remove this large underbody panel here to get access to our frame rails. The instructions state that there are 16 10 millimeter bolts and four push clips that need to come out. We did identify two extra 10 millimeter bolts that also need to come out. So we've got five on the driver's side, two in the middle, five on the passenger side. Continuing on the passenger side, we've got another three. And the final three on the driver's side. All right, we've got four push clips on the bottom side. We've got one here, one over here, up in this recess, and same on the opposite side. We're gonna use a trim panel tool on this one. Next, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver to pop out the last two. All right, now we're ready to install our hardware. On each side of the vehicle, we're gonna be installing two each of a 7 16 carriage bolt, the 7 16 uh, spacer plate, two of the conical tooth washer with the teeth facing up, and two 7 16 nuts for the carriage bolts. We're gonna be using a fish wire technique on both sides of the vehicle. Uh, they have access panels. We'll show you how that goes. All right, we're gonna start by inserting our fish wire through the hole over to this side access hole. Now we can insert our spacer plate. All right, we're gonna push our spacer block through and our carriage bolt. And we should pull it right out. Okay, same with our second fish wire. We're gonna go in the hole, out the access hole, bring it down. Grab our spacer plate and carriage bolt. Okay, we're gonna repeat that process on the passenger side. Before we raise our hitch into position, the instructions call out that we need to trim our fascia panel here on the bottom of the vehicle. Uh, the instructions call out that we're gonna do eight and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches high. Uh, that said, be very careful anytime you're making a cut to one of these fascia panels, we want to check behind it. So I've gone ahead and already visually and physically felt back here to make sure that we're not going to cut through any sensor wires, any light wires, and of course any electronics like this brake light here in the back. Now we're ready to install our hitch and raise it into position. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you are doing this at home, please get an extra set of hands as this hitch can be kind of heavy. All right, so before we get our hitch all the way into position, we do wanna put the wires uh, from the bolts coming down out of the frame rail into the access holes on the hitch.
Okay, now we're ready to remove our fish wires from the carriage bolts that are coming out of the frame rails. Uh, we're gonna be installing our conical tooth washers with the teeth facing up and our 716 nut. Uh, we're gonna torque those down to manufacturer specifications. Please review the instructions in the link below for those exact details. We are now ready to reinstall our underbody panel on the rear of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it up. We're gonna use our large push clips to get it aligned and hold it into place while we put in the rest of our 10 millimeter bolts. All right, with our hitch installed and the vehicle pulled on to level ground, we wanted to give you some important measurements for some of your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the rear pinhole to the edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube to level ground is 11 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, or drop of some of your hitch accessories like a bike rack or a cargo carrier. That concludes our installation on the Ford Mach-E. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the product seen here, or you're interested in an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, please visit us at uhaulhitches.com.